again, back again in the year, and welcome to it. Another broadcast brought to you courtesy of a government communication and information system, the GCIS, together with the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. It's got eight minutes after six o'clock. Welcome to it. And uh, the name is Karabu Lance. It's glad to be with you this evening. We continue with the program. It's a series, by the way, of 26 programs. And so far, this is episode number five that we're having uh, under the umbrella of uh, Justice Live Your Rights Show. Let's talk Justice Live Your Rights Show. So delighted to have you in the studio. This evening, we're going to be talking about a subject where a lot of people actually think this is a private matter or a personal matter. Uh, but this is a criminal offense, really, and it's punishable by law. Government, through various departments, has introduced and implemented various pieces of legislation and support programs to help curb this phenomenon we're going to be talking about this evening. What is it exactly? Well, before I even tell you, let me just welcome our guest in the studio this evening coming from the Gauteng Regional Office of Justice and Development. Um, this is Mr. Matome Mudiba, and he's the Legal Administration Officer at the Department. It's a very good evening to you, Matome. Thank you so much for having taken time to be with us uh, this evening. Thank you. All right, there we go. Uh, I think they've missed that, eh? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, delighted to have you in the studio. I saw you were pretty excited uh, coming through and I uh, couldn't wait for the show to start. So we're pretty excited uh, to have you with us. 0800 142 That's 0800 142 Double four six. It's a toll free number if you're going to be calling from a landline. Otherwise, if you're calling from a cell phone, call in. We'll take your number down and we'll call you back. Uh, there's other ways in which you can be in touch with us this evening via Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. On Twitter, it's at DOJCD underscore ZA. Instagram, at DOJCD. And on Facebook, it's the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. What is it that we're going to be talking about this evening? Big question on your lips. All right. We're going to be talking about domestic violence. All right. And we're going to be exploring the Domestic Violence Act number 116 of 1998. So that's where we're going to be basing um, all our um, communication this evening. So domestic violence, that's what we're talking about. So, Mr. Muriba, let's kick off. I'm sure a lot of listeners are looking forward to uh, be engaging us in the show this evening. Domestic violence. What is domestic violence? According to Domestic Violence Act of 1998, it is any form of abuse which include physical, sexual, emotional, psychological, or economical harassment. Further, it includes damage to property, stalking, entry into the property without the permission, any other abusive or controlling behavior where such conduct can cause harm mm -hmm. or may result in harm to your health or safety or your well-being. So there, that, that's the explanation of domestic violence that we have in this evening. Now, if you remember well, in season two, we did touch on domestic violence. So I, I wouldn't want to do the, uh, the normal way that we did it the last time. Otherwise, it's just duplication. And I think it's a waste of airtime, really, to do that. I would like us to talk about domestic violence in a way that um, it affects you the most. And I would like us um, to really, in fact, I would like to invite you as a listener that if you are a victim of domestic violence, that you speak up this evening. Look here, this is a platform for you where you can get help. Perhaps you've been trying to get help for a long, long time and you haven't been coming all right. I can tell you this now, when the guys are here, they'll be willing to help you out. So you don't even have to tell us who you are. You don't even have to mention where you're from, in fact, if you're a victim. Uh, you can just tell us the problem that you're encountering and um, off air we'll take your details down and we'll put you together with uh, people or somebody that can help you. 0800 142 446. 0800 142 So somebody can be asking, okay, but what are the main causes for domestic violence? I mean, does it just happen? Is it something that's very spontaneous? What 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 are the main causes? The the main causes may normally start from <coughs> the family, where in in most instances we 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 differ in 
ideas in the house. Mm -hmm. Remember, if uh, the husband, and I will give you an example where husband got paid today, mm -hmm. and the husband decided not to go home, when he goes home, is Tuesday or Wednesday. So remember, the, there are other expenses that are waiting for the pay. Now, when the wife starts to question him, say, hey, Papa Matume, where were you? You know we have planned one, two, three. These are the challenges we have. School fees, electricity, mm -hmm. grocery, and other things. Mm -hmm. At that time, because I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to, to explain myself to her, now I, I, will, I will start by reacting. Why do you ask me such questions? Mm -hmm. Do I need to explain to you? Then that commotion starts. Mm -hmm. From there, after, if my explanation is not clear, because I know now that I'm in trouble, I had to react. So that she cannot continue asking. Then the start. It can start physical, it can be emotional. When I say physical, we can fight literally, beat her literally. Mm -hmm. Or when it be becomes emotional, start to call her names. Now you want my money, you are not working, and all that stuff. So at that time, I'm trying to protect myself. Mm -hmm. Remember at that time, she, she's there, need answers to say, how can we solve the problem before us? Mm -hmm. Not for the fight. Right. 0800-142-446. It's very interesting the, 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 the example that you're giving because I wanted to tie it up actually with alcohol and drug abuse. And to, to what extent, as far as your work is concerned and what you've seen so far, and maybe the reports that are coming into the department, to what extent do you find that alcohol and drug abuse play a role in terms of domestic violence? Look, uh, it's, it's one of the contributing factors. Uh, on, on the example that I've given you, or we, we discussed mm -hmm. now, just now, remember, I will take money on, on, on the payday, not coming back. Going to clubs, do whatever there. Mm -hmm. At the clubs is where we can meet drugs, we can meet alcohol, any type of illegal substances, and other things. Mm -hmm. So from there, they contribute to the family. Because that the, the way they contribute, they contribute negatively, mm -hmm. not positively. Mm -hmm. Then I will, I, I, in, 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 in the, from, from where you see them, you see them affecting one individual. But now they, they cause a, a commotion in the community as a whole. Yeah. First, when I need, when I get drugs, I, I, I get them then I become, they, they become addictive to me. Mm -hmm. When they are so addictive to me, it means I need to fit that habit. Fitting that habit, it means when I don't have money, what must I do? I must look for other things that I can sell. Yeah. First, I will start with my asset, which are movable. Maybe start with the car. Yeah. So that, remember, at that time, I will not negotiate with my wife. Or it will be just to get the habit to, yeah. to, to, so, to, to get the sort. Mm -hmm. Then you, you, you take that, sell it. You, you, don't, you don't look at the repercussions of the, 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 the values. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. What you need is to get a fix at that time. Mm -hmm. When you, get, you go home, there is a challenge. Kid, your kids are expelled from school. Then you have financial crisis. Some of the assets have been repossessed. What do you do? They contribute. From there, you resort in what? There, there is a chain now. There is court cases. Someone need maintenance. Mm -hmm. Someone need money for, for, for payment that for credit agreements that were made for the groceries, clothes, you name them. Yeah. So all those, the creditors, now are gunning after you. They will look, they want you. Now, the court comes into play now. All those methods where 
everyone needs his money, civil procedure is coming in. Remember, at that time, there will be summons issued against of you. Course, yeah. Then the place to issue them is court. Mm -hmm. Now, your wife is stranded, or one in the family we are stranded, mm. we need maintenance. We, we can get advice to say, look, this is more serious than as it is. Because this, this husband of yours, if it's the 15th, you don't see Matome anymore, mm. you are going to see Matome on the 21st. When money is gone. When the money is gone. Sure. But what about the, the services yeah. that need to be paid? So now you go to court, approach the court to say, guys, I do have a problem. This is my expenses. I cannot afford. My, 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 my partner is working in Department of Justice. It's Matume Mudiba. Mm -hmm. Here are the particulars. Mm -hmm. Then the process starts. You, you see, now that drugs affects the family, affects the your work, yeah. the community as a whole. And after, if, if it's not in that way, we fight, then when we fight, remember, when we fight, we fight, whether the kids are here or what, we don't care at yeah. that time. Yeah. We expose the kids to the, to the violence. To, to the to violence. The violence. Which is, something that, which is something we, can, we cannot actually condone. In fact, I was going to come to that Matome now in a short bit and say, you know, how are kids um, ex are affected in this type of thing and how can they get assistance? But b before we even maybe go there, let's take a caller quickly because I see a lot of people are already um, wanting to be part of the show uh, to comment or ask uh, questions. Let's speak to Mark. Mark is all the way from Peter Murraysburg in KZN. Good evening to you, Mark. Uh, I had someone that I was in love with, so that was something to the one. And we actually sing a hamba a court in your funa e e court order or go to Angason delay to the one. And still, what Naman was a Kubega or some women is still coming back to me and answering where I stay. And I was going to what my side to because if you go back to the police and tell them that I, 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 there's nothing that they, they are doing actually. So right. I just want to find out the way forward how to do it. Okay, Mark, how long has it been uh, that you've received I, 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 I think it should be a protect, uh, protection order, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, how long has it been? Uh, since last year. And um, when you go back, why? They take a part of the lady. Are you going to the same police station all the time? It's the same police station because they tell you to go to the police station that's nearest. Okay. Mark, just from my side, maybe the, my guest will also contribute to that, but don't you think maybe you should change the approach quickly and then come, but we're going to the police station. I know we are we are all the time. I will try. 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 I will and you're still entering the premises. Okay. Le court order ya ko marketing in detail. Iam jela lo muntu gutu, you're not allowed to be within this certain distance. You're not allowed to enter this uh, premises with this address number. Iti nige? Yes. Iya kaza na kumusaka zguti, you are not, you are of me legal gutu, we enter the premises. And, uh, and futi unga sundile to the next to this person and you don't phone him anymore. So, and I uh, wouldn't have that uh, very uh, is stressing me. It does not to the key for the house where I stay. Yes, I actually even changed the locks. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. So I uh, just want to wait for the lesson. All right. Mark, what I've just suggested to you, maybe change the police station, but uh, just listen on the radio. I'm going to have my guests also given a bit of an input there for you. But thank you so much for calling in. So there we go. That's Mark from Peter Murray's back in KZN. Um, your input there? Look, uh, if someone 
as contravened the protection order. Remember, uh, first, those processes will be done. Where the first lap, it will be the application of protection order, where I I in those stages, first, after making the application, the order is regarded as interim order pending the date, the, it the will hearing. be the hearing, which yeah. will be 14 days, uh -huh. to come and explain why the it order should, should not yeah. be taken yeah. uh, final. Okay. So if, if, if you fail to come, then the order automatically is final court order, is binding. If who fails to come? If, 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 the, if the victim if, or the perpetrator If the perpetrator to uh -huh. fails to appear. Yeah. To, to respond to the allegations. So remember, it will be the, applica the applicant and the respondent. Mm -hmm. Say, for instance, the applicant it doesn't go on the time of the day or on the day of the hearing and the perpetrator happens to go. What then? Is it just a normal postponement or uh, how does it happen? Uh, it, it won't be postponed. If it will be postponed, they will need valid reasons, but normally it will be taken as a final order. Even if the, the, the victim was not there, but the perpetrator was there? Yes. All right. Okay. Now, in this instance... No, no. Let, let me clarify. Right. Okay. Maybe I did... If the, the perpetrator is there and the victim is not there, yeah. normally they will need the, the, the victim to, yeah. to be there to hear the side of the story. Right. So it will be postponed because... The person who has to explain what happened is it's not, not there. there. Yeah. And the reasons might be, I'm ill, yeah. I'm somewhere, you know, those type of things. Yeah. But when the perpetrator is not there, it's not there. But the victim is there. But the victim is there. Normally, it's a final order. It's a final order. Unless the, the, the perpetrator come back with valid reasons. Why do we not say, there on the day? On this day, Mm -hmm. I was uh, at work looking for the interviews, or I was somewhere else. Uh, somewhere else, and if it's if if if, if, if it's um, admission, illness, and mm -hmm. so forth, medical. Yeah. If it's interview proof, yeah, it will be required. Okay. So for 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 the issue of saying uh, the the order is final. And uh, the perpetrator still violates the protection order. Mm. First, if you go to the police station and the police station fails to assist you, you can go back to the court with the prosecutor to say, look, there is this file, you, 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 you are going to get that leg of the court. Mm -hmm. That leg of the court will normally take the file, prepare the file, and roll the matter to, to the prison. To engage the prosecutor, the matter can be enrolled on the same day mm -hmm. where they will write, then a warrant of arrest, then the person is picked, then is brought to court for contravention of the protection order. It can be a fine or it will depend with oh. the magistrate. But, uh, but in Mark's instance, what he's battling with right now, he can actually go back go to back. the court. Yes. Okay. Okay, Mark, maybe that's another thing. I've just said to you, change police stations, but it looks like there's a more, um, I don't want to say aggressive way, but there's a more direct way in which you can deal with it, which is to go back to the courts, Mark. This person has actually contravened their order and they'll take it from there. I think that's a more a clearer one that, that we can use there. Let's go to Tepo. Tepo calling from Northwest. Tepo. Tepo Tlegsdop. Tepo. Tepo, I got legs up. Okay. Mabuti, Mosel Bay. Mola, put you in Jani. Yeah, Pila, put you in Dad. Sure, I just want to find out how common is the domestic violence in uh, Sabin? Okay, how common is it at at a workplace? At work. Okay. Or is it, is it, is it possible by they call it domestic violence in Sabin? All right. Okay. And then also in, in terms of family solution, if you want to go all right. <clears throat> All right, there we go. That's my booty from Mosul Bay. Vincent in Hamaskara. Bravins? Vincent in Hamaskara? 
Okay, I think we've lost Vincent there for a bit. We'll try to get him back. Okay, so uh, domestic violence, can we link it to a workplace? Can we call it domestic violence if it happens at work? Look, uh, l l l let's unpack. Domestic uh, violence, it will be for people with relationship, either a partner or a married person. A partner, whether same sex or uh, opposite sex, living together or not living together, but having a baby together, sharing a responsibility of a baby, related, engaged, or sharing a residence mm -hmm. together. So at work, unless uh, the person has the relationship with a person, which is intimate Marital relation or, yeah, the type of thing, thing right. then it's when we can take it as a domestic violence. But normal colleagues at work, it's not domestic violence. All right, there you have it, Mabuti. It's not domestic violence if it's at work. It's happening at the place of work unless you are related to that person and uh, you've got a relationship with them intimately or otherwise. So, so there we go. There. We've got Vin Vincent back. Is Vincent back? Vincent is not back. 0800-142. Uh, 0800-142. What is that number again? All of a sudden it's gone. Jeez, can you believe it? <laughs> oh, man. It's been four years. I mean, I've never, ever, ever forgotten that number. There's another number in Cape Town. I've never forgotten it as well. Now, all of a sudden, I go blank. 0800-142-446. There we go. It just came now to that my tongue. Oh, yeah, man. Instagram at DOJCD. Twitter at DOJ underscore ZA. On Facebook, it's the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. We'll be taking your calls there as well. Is Vincent back at the moment? Um, is Vincent here? All right. Uh, it's a very good evening to you, Vincent. Uh, okay, is it Gigi? Gigi from Hanover Park. Good evening to you, Gigi. Hi, Karab. How are you? I'm good in yourself, Gigi. I am also good, Karab. I just want to say I'm calling from Radio 7 uh -huh. in Hanover Park. I need to say there's so many domestic violence. And the people, sometimes the police take so long to respond. So what I am asking, why is it always the women that must go look for a place? Why is it all the women must take the children and be on the run? What has happened to the men? Did you tell them things happened to him? Thank you so much, Gigi. Appreciate it. Gigi calling all the way from Inova Park. I really appreciate it. Half past six it is. 0800-142-446. 0800-142-446. Um, let's see if we can answer the first one. Now, why are the why police are taking so long to respond? Um, any ideas? Maybe then that the Mudiva. Maybe you've engaged them. They've explained why sometimes it's a bit tough for them to respond. Look, there, there are various challenges. Uh, I, I cannot put my head on the block on that one. <laughs> I, will, yeah. I, I will just say uh, it will depend on challenges of a particular area. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you know, we have uh, serious constraints there and there. But uh, le, le, let's, le, le, if they don't respond, there are channels to follow. Mm -hmm. if, if, if it happens that in your area you report a case and... Uh, whether domestic violence or anything, then they don't respond timelessly. You have a right to to engage, to go with it. The, at the station level, you phoned, then you can say, on this time and day I phoned, yeah, it was this time, the police didn't come, it was at this time, hours and so, but uh, you go to their policeman, the station commander, mm -hmm. and that's station to say I called and uh, secondly maybe more people will come up and say we are calling this station we don't get, get joy mm -hmm. we don't get response it will go to the cluster commander from the cluster commander it will go to the province from the province is where you can I you, you decide whether there is a unit specifically in the provinces specifically dealing with complaints mm -hmm. Then from there, they w is the, then the conduct can be invested either by uh, IPIT, Independent uh, Investigating Directorate Unit, 
relating to the actions of the, the conduct and action, actions of a law enforcement. Yeah. So I think that is the way to go. 28 minutes before 7 o'clock. Welcome to it if you've just joined us. Uh, the name is Karabalans. The show is Let's Talk Justice, Live Your Rights show. It's under the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. Uh, we've been going at it for almost about just over 30 minutes. And joining me in the studio is Mr. Matume Mudiba. He's the Legal Administration uh, administration Officer at the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development here in Gauteng. So uh, we're talking about domestic violence. And um, I would like you to be part of the show, 0800-142-446. That's 0800-142-446. Gigi mentioned something very important as well, and she's quite, quite worried about the issue of women being the ones who are sent to places of safety. Um, I, I don't know whether I should say, do men get sent to places of safe, safety as well? There, there is shelters that accommodate uh, male in, in that regard. The challenge is we don't come forth and uh, report those cases. Yeah. And uh, remember, uh, th those places normally, the place of safety at that time, they are there. it's not a, a, a full-time arrangement. Maybe it's just for a, 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 for a shorter period when looking for alternative accommodation if you feel that uh, mm. going there going to see matrimony again is going to be a problem when i'm still sorting the stuff and receiving counseling and other things yeah. is when i you go to shelters right. Re remember the shelters there will be other programs there will be social workers dealing with psycho social things with you Mm -hmm. Then they will also further give advices. Whether do, do you want do, do you want this matter to be reported to police and so on. Remember the some of the challenges is or that we are facing. The police get a, a case is reported on Friday or Saturday. The person is arrested. Remember on Monday, the the, the perpetrator has to come to court. Mm -hmm. At that time. The prosecutor will look at uh, the the docket, the chat sheet, and so on. But at the ultimate end, the very same victim go on prepare withdrawal statement. Mm -hmm. At that time, is bad. All right. I tell you what we're gonna do, Matome. Um, uh, let's try to keep it short with explanations maybe from here going forth i'll tell you why i'm actually looking at the board myself i can see it from this side and those lights are flashing like crazy people are wanting to call it let's give them time to 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 share their views as well let's go to natasha natasha from calvinia i'm good in yourself natasha no complaints thank you good evening uh, listen this is a very interesting topic and I have first one question I don't know if the guest can answer it. Right, go for it. If I take it for myself, if, if the guy in my life or the partner in my life raise his hand and want to hit me, I'm out the door. But not before telling my dad. <laughs> so my question is, why do these people stay in these relationships? Why? Okay, why? why okay, I see. All right. Uh, thank, you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Natasha from Calvinia. Vincent is back. I, I understand. Vincent? Bravins? Vince? Yes. yes, sir. Good evening to you. What is your question or comment? Hey, hey, Pap. Hey, hey. Hey. Well, I would like to know if there are two people who maybe love music day in, day out. So, so how are people? How are these people? All right, <laughs> Vincent. <laughs> but when I Vincent, the but when I but but we don't get to hear him. So, Buma Aki, bro. Buma Aki. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, Thank you so much, Vince. I appreciate it. Joe will definitely answer your question there. Let's go to Patco in Aliwal North. Patco Aliwal North. Nothing and that one, guy. signal. And then Tabula Lipelia High. A government of the Jalutona, Ye to Zwang, a Gaba Motuwa next door, Mohaitane, Yakon, Atamaye, Ibeena, Atama Ogula, a protection order, which Vera Mutina, Atolo Technician, Autiena, and some technician at the Layena is in right. All right, thank you so much, Padko. Dalabuan Dadoak. It's part call from Tagalani Community Radio. Let's go to Sukukuni and we chat into success. Sukukuni go nebo. Um, success? Success was Sukukuni. Hey, I'm going to go. Hey, I'm going to go. 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 Mo <laughs> Well, I mean, okay. Kiaoko, success. Hey, I'm sure we are going to learn via coding. Learn via coding, and it. Well, I can go to my own fit on we which I have a pay, a yabu pay, a well, Garrowbaugh, <laughs> Really, la wana le programming wa na wana lo na two days ago. Ibe rubla la kacho na tava cha maintenance. Kuna kano rubila wa 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 feto. Elo rum shomu mo kanya koro itili. Chego ana mo YouTube. Fela ata wana wuri yara ba wan pucho yaga success. Thank you, Karabu. All right, nineteen minutes just before seven o'clock. Oh eight hundred one four two double four six. That's oh eight hundred one four two double four six. Let's let's start here and go back. Let's start with success. And we'll go back over part and the rest. So, um, what must he do? Because he's saying I'm maintaining the child. No, we're not talking about maintenance. But you see, things like these, they contribute towards domestic violence. Because if we tell all the things, they are so tense. That they are emotional and eventually they are physical. So, so to avoid that, to avoid domestic violence coming from this, what can what can success do? Look, uh, it's, it's simple. If... Uh, two people sit and agree. If 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 they don't agree, the court is there to decide for themselves. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, success has a valid point, but uh, the the reality is, we we don't know how much is he affording mm -hmm. this end. Remember, sometimes I'm I'm. Uh, from from what I have observed, normally someone is taking, uh, I will say my wife is taking me to maintenance court because he want to just to to show me that she's not satisfied of other things, but she doesn't want to say out to me to say them loud to me to say, look, Matumi, you are giving me this much. This much cannot afford mm -hmm. what what I need. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, the other party also. If 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 she doesn't take it, she can go to court apply where they will look at the expenses between the mother and the father. Remember if 
the, the father ends less or ends more, but the color to the whatever the 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 jangwana. So ro level level or na. Where the color to the elite dika. In the meantime, na fetcha matuma fetcha all a five thousand. Apart from the color to the three thousand five. We are going to get in Mexico. So we are going ling ling. So 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 the, just to be short. The best thing our matuma is he can approach the court himself. Yes. the other day. There was one important question. Kilenga ibujisha karna untoba ibichangwa ke voluntary maintenance. How far can one go? And maybe babule la or even us, matume, we can actually go. Hakra askra on the men's yes, side of things. Banna can actually go to maintenance uh, court themselves, and uh, they can go and approach the court and say, look, kya pata ila every month. But uh, when uh, we talk about it, we are not going to be able to do it. So I think maybe, don't you think maybe that's another idea? Maybe uh, it depends on the parties. But success, if you feel that you have to do this, go to court, bra. But the media, but the rule, but the judicator, but the judge, but the judgment. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But the judge, but the judge, but the judge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Issue, yeah, yeah. But the judge, but the judge. We have to look. Uh, issue uh, the duration. First, ke 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 na kwe ka kamuto a a samufichele te back. Mm -hmm. Remember, if it's more than three years, you are you are at you are at a loss. And remember, we have small claims court. Mm -hmm. If chele te ye u mutwa u kolota, ele less than fifteen thousand, ele fifteen thousand oya fast. Mm -hmm. Ukaya wa we claim mako small claims court. But au dere la process ye simbolo reo zvar matu mudu la kai over ka kai. Iba iba let out demand from there apala ya vadi samonsi from there commissioner adu la tilija case yalin. So, I can't go to do today more small claims. Let's not go there because Rnaliona, Rnaliona program had small claims. In fact, it was scheduled for today. Really, I changed it because we felt that this one is more a reflection of domestic violence. But so, Rnaliona in times to come, yeah, 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 small claims court, and we'll explain then how it works. However, we must have called to see why we lost, see why we see why we should face it. Our our country, our mutuality property. Kita semua ritual kecil ni, jadi nali beli beli lah. Oh, ya, oh, ya, fitur aku kan DVD. It's not a solution. Right. Oh, eight hundred one four two double four six. That's oh eight hundred one four two double four six. Ah, I see. Tepo is back. Can I take Sivuile first, or should I take Tepo? Because Tepo was on there. Let's give Sivuile a chance. So Sivuile, good evening to you. Okay. Sivuile. Sivu. Fagebon day ni. Okay, let's go to Tepo. Tepo? Tepo in... Uh, yeah, Tepo, thanks up. How's it? Eh, Nadi. Eh, Nadi. 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 Domestic <laughs> <laughs> Right. 
Right. Okay. Okay. Tapo yeah. I've got it. I've got it. Thank you so much. Let's try to be sweet and short. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, 12 minutes just before 7 o'clock. Let's try to be sweet and short as we go for it. All right, just to save time and to allow other people to come in. Yeah, we have already okay, but to me, it's not easy. It's not as easy as it sounds. Uh, there we go. So, Zvuil is back. See, Vu? Yes, sir. What are you doing? The right, the right, the right, the right. The Ah, right, yeah. time <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, you're probably wondering why why I'm giggling in the background. It's real, I can tell you now, man. The entire studio, the entire studio is laughing because, uh, you know, it's, it's different cases, really, and different strokes for different folks. And this one is the first. This even our, even our camera lady is laughing. I can tell you. So thank you so much. We'll see how we can approach that one. Um, all right. So let's let's start with let's start with Tepo. Uh, the average year of somebody, or on average, what age do we normally do people report? Domestic violence, victims of domestic violence on average, how old are they? I think that's the best way to put it, really. Look, uh, we, we, I cannot uh, say because it comes from different ages. Mm -hmm. From kids till uh, the age that you think. Up to older, older person or the older person in, in heaven or earth. Mm -hmm. So that one... We, we, we cannot just say up to 50 or 60. The, 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 the more years you, you, you live, then is the more you get challenges when you need help is when you do protection orders and other things. Talking about protection order, Sepo is actually worried that, you know, some, there are some cases where somebody has got a protection order, but that somebody end up dead because they get killed by whoever the victim is. He says, or he's asking, can't one just be arrested? If somebody's going to lay a charge, and maybe Batisha evidence for, I'm laying a charge against Matome, right? But this is what Matome has done. Look at me. Look at how I look. Look at my medical records as well, medical medical certificate and all of that stuff. Um, um, so 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 so, can't just one provide that type of evidence, and uh, and somebody gets arrested instead of a protection order being issued and that somebody stays there and the other party stays there? Look, uh, at first, the person will have to decide whether to open a criminal case because of assaults and other things or go to protection order. But it will be wise. Mm -hmm. it, it will depend on the situation and the person. Just go and open a, a, a criminal case, then the police will take it there, bail proceedings and other things, the court will take it from there. But it will depend on the PC. Right. And then your collaboration with the Department of Basic Education as far as information is concerned and the dissemination thereof, as well as a faith-based organization, do you work with them? How far are you? What, what, what is happening on the ground? Mo mostly I will, I will refer to the relationship in Gauteng province because we, we, we normally do sessions at schools, mm -hmm. like on a Children's Rights Week, we go to schools, we go where churches do call us, we go, 
do presentation, they select topics. We go do presentations, even at the communities. Then if they call us, invite us, share the topics, we go there, participate in whatever. As long as it's something that we can assist, we'll be there to assist. All right. And then, Sifuide. <laughs> Sifuide, man. I don't know how to tackle this one. Hello. But Sifuile is worried, Matome, or, you know, but uh, renta away, nugget. And then when people do that, he makes them sign a document. Yeah, what are they renting there by, by, by him? But when they vandalize his property and they happen to leave even before uh, the, the agreement that, that was signed for, uh, they don't take steps in terms of considering the document that was signed. But before the signed date, they have contract in your But police have a problem. Fella, and not just steps when people have vandalized his property. Uh, you know, it's, it's something wrong. Your, your comment on that? My comment is uh, 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 for, for, for him to safeguard himself before entering into any other contract. Or when entering into a contract, a person must pay a deposit or saying, should you decide to leave my property i'm going to inspect if my i will give if it's five rand you pay five rand for deposit then five rand for the month so that if you want to leave early because you've damaged whatever you don't have a deposit mm -hmm. that's the solution all right oh eight hundred one four two double four six oh eight hundred one four two Double four six. Thank you so much to those who are coming uh, from Facebook. We'll see how we can um, answer those. I think I've got more. Pietras Letsati Molope. Can this sign mean over a motor or Gagaraga domestic violence? Look at your act in ways that scare you. Control what you do, uh, who you see or talk to, or where you go. Those comments, Joja, Jaja Pietras. We're not even around the Matumi. Look, the this relationship jarena not uh, as someone who's a presenter or first to level lorna contact arena leon eba if if you, we can really go back to our our ubuntu sense mm -hmm. then i think some of the challenges will be solved right and then uh, thank you so much to Pauline Murongwa Makoba. Uh, Pauline, we are Roman Lamalaja on Facebook. Thank you so much there, Pauline. Uh, beautiful and very informative show, guys. Keep it up. The guest in the studio is amazing. The public is getting help. So thank you so much. People are very, very happy in terms of uh, what you guys are doing at the department. So we really thank you so much, Pauline. I think this Pauline is somebody that I know. Uh, maybe I shouldn't even mention it on the radio because it's am exposed to Somebody on the other side of the entertainment world. TV so we're not taking any callers anymore. All right, we're not going to be taking any callers anymore. But two last questions, really. A protection order. I'm trying to apply that for those who don't know. Maybe on it's a victim. As we speak, they don't know how to approach the court. What are the steps they have to take in leading up to the application of the protection order? All right. First, when, when you go there, you'll get a lack, uh, a lack of the court in the domestic section who will assist you, give you the, the forms there, complete the affidavit, open a file, give the file numbers, then issue it from there. The other parties is served. You can, you, from there, they will say, come to the court on this day, on that day. Then they give a policeman, give you, say, go to the policeman, go and serve mm -hmm. the person. Then they serve, they, they sign. If Madume refuse, who are now sign. Yeah, which is another thing I wanted to ask you. Then, I, I feel like Pambiru, but there are more. But I sign again, I will not say So, uh, 
whoever is saving, to the return that Matumwa no sign. Side. Because hey, if you go to the magistrate, you check a file. You go check out now. Muto sign the order. Is he informed? Hey. Then Agra note Yauri. Ah, sign now. Then Yauri, Anya go go say lo. Then the order will be final. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Because remember, at that but, uh, time, if if Agra uh, the reason check out why a sign. Because we must be very careful. We must be very careful, right? Domestic violence is a no no. But you want to learn that you can to the advantage. Okay? Moto agat lema domestic violence, and you go swing. No, okay, 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 okay. But remember, can I go to my tomo domestic file? I read the allegations, Jedi Bulelwang, the final. Irita. Eh, hey, can we explain? No, we explain. No, we need to. Chedi wole chunka we na. So we we na we na guilty conscience. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, but <laughs> if we na utile, it will be clear up the mess. Mm -hmm. Then at that time, after magistrate took the level, I verify information. For the very duty, we try na learn na learn na duty the magistrate. Do you know this lady requests CNN and other stuff? From there, it a very scary. Otaba adorang atoma ovulela or no 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 no. It should not be like this. One two three anya ke one two three ya wo. Then kiam granda order final. Right, right. Then if I final order, remember, how out of my from that that time is over final. You cannot just decide today because we are now in a happy mood go to court and cancel can you go that's another one that i want to talk to uh, to to you about in fact it's another one that i would like you to speak to the listeners about issue any victims obtain a restraining order or a protection order after a couple of days, your, your plea to them, what, what, what can, what, from the department, what is it, what, what's your advice? Look, uh, I will say protection order is not negotiable. It will stay till someone dies. Whether we are in a happy mood or what. Protection order, try to solve issues. Not to say don't stay together, but to say, look, Ntate Matum, Ma Matum Ori Arai, Tire Udira, one, two, three. That's the main purpose. Mm -hmm. So remember, at our level, only for, for case here, domestic violence, we would you today, we would you today, tomorrow I appear in court. Because Matum Ikenavian is the sole breadwinner, mm -hmm. you decide to cancel. Mm -hmm. some, some, uh, some, some of the prosecutors won't just uh, withdraw the, right. the, the, the case from mm -hmm. the role. They, they will rather prefer to enroll the perpetrator to a program which will be under supervision like the AA, the Necros and those pro projects mm. that they go and check your behavior, anger management, and those things. Mm -hmm. So that after a certain time, when you come back, there will be a report and certificate to say uh, maybe one, two, three was affecting him. We, 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 we think, oh, change it. Yeah. Then it's when, but, 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 but no, go, but you are want. If you come back here, <laughs> now we will deal with you. Right, right, right. Thank you so much for that. That's my guest in the studio coming from the regional office of the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. He's a legal administration officer. His name is Gema Dume Mudiba. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There we go. Mr. Mudiba here. Thank you so much to the crew for this evening. And uh, apologies really to Tami, to Viwe, to Marvin, uh, to Musa, to Stribo. 
Thank, uh, apologies to you guys for not being able to come through. Uh, it was a jam-packed show. Callers calling in left, right, middle, center, uh, bottom, center, bottom, right. All right. Thank you so much to the sound <laughs> engineer for this evening. His name is Kemosoto Stone, doing an amazing job. Three days in a row. My goodness. Can you believe it? That's how hard he's been working, man. He's very tired. He's not the only one that's tired. You should see how Linda walks. He's the type of guy when he walks through the corridors, he does it in 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, today, I'm at 17. Uh, then you know, right? Yeah, well, Linda Mazi will on telephones. Thank you so much. And of course, the rose among the thorns holding the video camera on our side. Hey, man, you want to talk about women empowerment? Come and see it live here. Yeah, it's happening here at GCIS. We're talking about Usis Nobu. And uh, Usis Nobu has actually protected me in the PE. He was telling me, I got a panda, my panda. You should not even go there. Taking care of me there. So, thank you so much, Nobu, from our video department. And of course, the man who puts it together, who makes sure that everything makes sense. In the, he's short, actually. <laughs> His name is Victor Pala. Thank you so much, my Vic. Thank you for your job. Well done. From myself, Karabalans. Okay, here's, 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 um, not advice, but okay, you know, information. We're going to be having another show in the next coming 15 minutes, all right? But please note this. The stations who are taking part in that show that's coming now, it's the Department of Tourism show that's going to take place in the next 15 minutes. Stations that will be taking part, you have been sent a notification that you are taking part. If you have not received that notification, please would like to ask you not to take that program. If you do it, you'll be doing it in your own accord and we'll be very delighted that you do actually just for the information to reach out to your listeners. However, financial implications, we won't be able to, to you know what I'm saying. Okay. So if you haven't received a notification from your GCIS correspondent, Please do not take it, the show that's coming in the next 15 minutes. From myself, Karabalans, ciao for now. Let's meet again in 15 if you are taking part. That is.